You know when YouTubers do that like serious video where they like sit down on camera and then they just go <sighs> Oh guys, gotta play Luxembourg today <gasps> Hello everybody and welcome to my nightmare Did I ever mention the fact that this was a nightmare? Hello and welcome back to day 2 of the 7 days of madness Which is a sub-series of the main series Hoi 4 A to Z Where I play every single starting nation in Hearts of Iron 4 Help! And today we sure are in for a doozy because it's Luxembourg time. Luxembourg! Luxembourg! Yeah, Luxembourg sure did have much of an impact in World War II. Uh, my personal favorite Luxembourg moment in World War II was when the Germans ran them over. Not even a speed bump. Yeah, I guess back in the day, playing Luxembourg in Hoi 4 was kind of like a, a little challenge because, you know, it's Luxembourg, you know, but conquer the world's Luxembourg. But now it's just a chore. Uh, we could also play some mods to make it more interesting, but uh, the new DLC came out. No mods work. Uh, so I guess today, guys, we are going to play Luxembourg. It's going to be a fun one. I can't imagine any real challenge behind it. It's Luxembourg. They're pretty easy. And... <gasps> ah! Braun, add, like, the sus imposter music. And then a zoom in on the little look, the little Among Us right there. To emphasize the horror of the scene. Everywhere I go, I'm tormented <laughs> by my sins. There is no horseman at the apocalypse. There's just the apocalypse. And I'm staring right at him. Oh, oh my god. It was all just a dream. We don't have to play silly Among Us Luxembourg. We just have to play normal Luxembourg. <laughs> That's somehow worse. Alright, so we're in the new DLC, which means Luxembourg... Alright, number one strongest nation in the world now. Okay, so we've got a gun, uh, 4,000 manpower, uh, four factories, and not a single will to live. Don't worry though, we have Francois Chamel, infantry expert. So obviously we are from the future. We know how this war's going to go for Luxembourg. Answer? Not very well. As such, we can plan ahead for our faults in the war. And there are quite a few. Uh, number one, we are Luxembourg. And we have no reasonable defense, industry, military capabilities. And did I mention we're Luxembourg? So why, instead of trying to win, okay, that might be a viable strategy for some nations. How about we do the opposite end and just try not to lose. Who needs to win if you can just not lose? Uh, yeah, you, you could say I'm I'm just coping right now. I am. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna find a way to win. I'm the new DLC, and there is uh nothing we could build, so I'll just build some infrastructure. You know, the people in Luxembourg gonna turn it to one big highway, so the Germans can run us over that easier. There you go. I can go ahead and just steal some trains too. I mean, five stability. <laughs> don't need it anyway. I don't even need the trains either, to be fair. Considering our entire country is one railroad, um, yeah, we don't really need the trains to go anywhere. There is one stop in Luxembourg. Hell! No, I should have put historical AI off, shouldn't I? Didn't think of that, did I? Oh my god, no. I can't go naval Luxembourg! You can't beat them! Join him! I just realized that our infantry template is just one dude. So, um, I'm just gonna rename it from public force to just, um, the dude's name. So, there we go. We got Glenn. Yeah, no. Glenn is actually the number one name in Luxembourg. Don't look it up. Don't fact check me. Fact check me, I'll slap you. Alright, don't try and view a splain me, alright? <laughs> I've got Glenn. Oh, <laughs> I just got quite a few Glens. Oh, I can steal more trains? I mean, who needs stability anyway, I suppose? <gasps> look at that. I got 60 trains, and not a single one of them is in use. Right, so, the only thing I can really think of doing is flipping really quickly and then maybe power dropping into the Netherlands. Calling Germany into the war as I've joined their faction. Hopefully, if I gain some victory points, I'll have war score to win and take stuff. 
All the Germans could just take everything, and I get nothing. But either way, it's a plan, right? I will need to build an airport, though. I have not fought this part through. I managed to flip, but can we do what we need to do in time now? Probably not, but uh, who's gonna stop me? Go, uh, the hero Luxembourg needed. Frederick Nagelmakers. <laughs> That's right, Luxembourg stands united under the Mackers. Uh, just in case things go south with the war for the Dutch, um, we will be taking some uh, extra measures. This is what I would like to call a little bit suicidal, but um, it's really the only thing we can do. <laughs> I go, I just, it's a plan. Uh, will jo Germany join us? Let's find out. They haven't joined us, but I only just joined the faction, so if we wait until they line up, they might just do it. Yeah, there we go, so we've got to wait carefully. We'll just wait until the, the fighting starts over there, and they move their troops away from their important points over there, and then I'm just gonna go ahead. Pop these bad boys. There we go. There we go. There we go. Luxembourg's winning. Luxembourg's winning. Uh, the fight for Rotterdam is going down. Okay. 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 I can't do anything. <laughs> you know what? Sure. Okay. I just fed the Germans more land. But I also puppeted the Dutch down here. So, who's the real winner? I'm, I'm just saying. I'm pretty sure Germany ran out of oil in the real World War II. That ain't gonna be a problem no more. Yep, we are we are absolutely screwed here. Oh, joining Germany's faction didn't go too well, I'm gonna be real. So, we're, we're taking a different course of action over here. That's right. <laughs> Look at that political pie chart start that make no goddamn sense. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know how it is. We tried that whole, uh, you know, fascism thing. Found out it just, it just was not for Luxembourg, all right? So, we're gonna try this communist thing instead. Oh, I, I just realized, technically, because I puppeted the Dutch, I do now have a navy. I got the great Luxembourg navy. I don't own a port though. Well, there goes World War II. Um, I don't think we're gonna get involved just yet. You know, we're just gonna we're gonna wait for Luxembourg's time to strike, and that will preferably be when Luxembourg isn't on the front line. There is a famous saying in Luxembourg called "stability schmility," which means who needs stability? Essentially, uh, they re they really are the poets of the world, Luxembourg. Also, the tax evaders of the world. So, uh, Christmas is coming up, eh? You know, uh, what do you guys want for Christmas? Uh, I, I personally would like to play a nation that's not Luxembourg. Uh, I know this probably isn't the most appropriate time to tell you this, Germany. Um, especially considering you now completely surround me. But, um, we've, we've figured out a new government and it ain't fascism. Uh, we can... We, we can still make this work, right? This this ain't gonna be a deal breaker. <laughs> I just, uh, you're not gonna expand the Autobahn over Luxembourg, are you? I just realized, you go communist, uh, you can get in your spirit of the army something that gives you weekly manpower 500. Hold on a second, that's pretty good. I mean, we go ahead and actually do the math here. That's like over 20,000 manpower a year. I currently have 13,000 in the army alone, and these guys aren't even fully equipped. That is gonna make playing small countries actually very interesting. Very interesting. Right. Luxembourg, the communist paradise in the middle of hell. Come here and join the paratroop division. Glenn could use some company. God damn, look at that. We also receive weekly manpower 500. Just look at the army go up. It's just, it's, it's beautiful, okay? Come to Luxembourg, everyone. You don't have to pay tax. No, oh, uh, well, things aren't going too well for the allies in Africa. Uh, not too well at all. I've just been... Chilling, relaxing. Yeah, I got up to 12,000 manpower now just from that stupid weekly manpower. That's pretty good. Look, all, all the glens are filled out, and uh, yeah, I'm in the middle of uh, the German Reich. Kind of scared for my life. Uh, not 100% what the play is gonna be, but like I said, I'm not here to win. I'm just here to not lose. And that means I'm just sitting here while all the people in Luxembourg just smash out babies, which is um, <coughs> what they're doing. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Well, Germans are going east. Maybe they'll lose and I'll be free from this madness. Uh, although the Soviet AI is currently force attacking. 
in battles they're losing. That's that's not how you want to force attack. If um, anyone ever uses the force attack button, you just you, you just you just gave up the front line from there. You take more damage if you force attack. What are you doing? Oh, well, I guess uh, no DLC can really fix the damn AI, can it? Oh, you just send the Soviets an attaché. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in the faction with Germany still. <laughs> yes, yes, comrade Luxembourg. Here is all our military placements. Please do not tell your faction of a lot. Oh, you know what, Italy? You go, go choke on some spaghetti. I'm going to do what I want. Oh, uh, the Eastern Front's looking interesting. Uh, can't really tell who's winning. Uh, there's a lot of red going east, which is good. Uh, there's a few greens here and there, but hopefully... The Soviets push him back! Uh, cause at the moment, not really adhering to that whole no step back thing, are we? You definitely have taken a, a couple step back here, Stalin. And that ain't cool, bro! Also, can we all just be impressed right now? Luxembourg has 32,060... That's 32,069k troop manpower. That's pretty impressive, considering I'm Luxembourg. <laughs> Sorry, the, the, the number is just so funny. I can't even look at it without bursting out into tears. Hold on a second. Oh, that's my psychiatrist calling. I don't know why he'd want to talk to me. Yeah, I want to see Logan Paul react to um, the, the Hearts of Iron 4. You know, I really think it'd be his game. You know, just got that feeling. Okay, Dream Hoi 4 rotation. Okay, uh, Jake Paul, obviously, Logan Paul. The fat guy who eats McDonald's and cries and has a breakdown. Uh, the podcast guy, the other podcast guy, uh, Keemstar, get Keemstar in there, and then, uh, Bo, Bo Cone 1. Can you imagine Bo in the middle of all that? You know, I also, I want the corpse, the decaying corpse of Stan Lee to make a cameo in that. <laughs> look at that, look who comes crawling, the little old Luxembourg. Germany wants some manpower assistance for their little occupied land, well, you know what? I ain't gonna give you anything. Uh, mostly because whilst we do have, like, loads of manpower now, uh, I can't, uh, I don't like you. Um, if I left Germany's, f like, little faction now, do they have the war goal on me from around the match? No, they do not. Should I leave? Can I just leave? Will they justify me? All right. We're about to find out. <laughs> uh, I think we're fine. Yeah. We're fine, I guess. Just a little bit more exposed. Uh, okay, so I can send three volunteers and only 81 planes. That's not enough. I need more. I just realized now would be a really good time for the uh, Allies to do a little bit of a D-Day. Considering they are kind of slogged down in the Soviet Union. But, um... Nope. I sent an attache to the British, too. You have a lot of troops just standing around, Britain. A lot of troops that could probably be doing something pretty handy down here in Normandy. Well, D-Day has happened. Okay, I think this might be our time to join the Soviet Union in the great pushback. This is gonna go terrible, but if I capitulate, they can't technically annex me, because I'll be in the German-American War? Uh, <laughs> okay, hold on. I don't know which one I'm joining there. That's right. They never saw us coming. Go, <laughs> Luxembourg. Probably should have made cavalry divisions and just sped out as quickly as I could, but uh, this is the best I can. thought about this. If I reach all this land over here, I only have to control it and I can form the stupid, like, Benelux thing. Run, boys, before the Germans turn up. Run. We've got no German troops around. Still got no German troops anywhere to be seen. We've got a single one there. I'm Trying to like head them off, like heading further into their land just so we can take the states that we need. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we did it. Run away. Bravely run away and try to defend what we have just done. <laughs> I think I have ever been happier to see the AI actually do something before. Um, why am I getting naval invaded in the channel right now? Britain, don't... <laughs> isn't this your department? Uh, now Britain did go ahead and steal half my land there, but I, I don't think I'll even be able to keep this land anyway. Yeah, this looks like there's quite a few battles going on for Germany right now, but um, I... this, this went south a lot quicker than I thought it would. Oh. 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 Um. Yeah, okay. 
<laughs> Can I have some land? Uh, I guess, uh, I guess no. <laughs> no. No, oh, looks like I could take this. Nice. That's, that's cool. That's cool, guys, you know. Uh, I could have kept all this land up here, but, uh, no. <laughs> I guess I'll take Sardinian. <laughs> I got the AI straight up <laughs> spited me <laughs> by taking the Netherlands from me. Well, uh... That was an interesting Luxembourg game. <laughs> and uh, I think we, we've, done, we've done all we really could there. We clearly dominated the entire game. We won. We uh, beat the Axis all on our lonesome. And we formed the Benelux uh, formable nation. So that's cool. Things really did go our way. And uh, yeah. Little old Luxembourg, eh? <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button down below for the next madness video tomorrow.